Hello friends, welcome to free CAD tutorial of uh, sheet metal part design tutorial 02 and in this tutorial we will learn the sheet metal design in free CAD and uh, we will convert this uh, isometric uh, drawing of a sheet metal part into the free CAD model and we will use the sheet metal workbench and uh, part design workbench I will uh, close this file and create a new file and show you from the scratch so here I have uh, created a new file and uh, I will uh, switch to the part design workbench and here I will create a body and then click on create a sketch and uh, we will create this uh, base profile so we will select this top plate and we will uh, create our rectangle and uh, we will delete this line and uh, select the line tool and we will merge it and now uh, we will give the dimension so this horizontal line is of a 43 you can see here this is of a 106.5 this is the 60 and uh, this is of a 200 so this is the fully constrained profile we will close it go to the model tab and here press 0 for isometric and now we will switch to the sheet metal workbench and we will select the sketch and click on this make base wall and now we will click on the base bend and here we will get its property so thickness is of a 5 mm radius is of a 4 and now we will uh, create the flange here so for this we will uh, select this edge and uh, click on the flange and now we will uh, click on this bend and we will uh, change its property so length is of uh, 56 select it and now we will create one more flange now here if we see here we have uh, created this flange of a uh, 56 but this phase if you see it is a little bit uh, outside so so we will select this edge and extend this edge and we will click on this extent and uh, offset we will give 10 mm and let's uh, move to the next feature we will uh, create the main flange again So select this edge and uh, click on the bend and here we will click on the second bend and length here is of uh, 55 55 radius is of uh, 4 mm now we will uh, expand this uh, property and check it so rest of the things will be like it now we will create uh, one more flange which is this one so we will select this edge and click on the flange and uh, this is the length of uh, 76 
so we will go to the length option and uh, provide the 76 and the radius is of uh, 4 mm so here as we are uh, changing the properties our model gets updated and now we will uh, create one cut here so for this we will uh, select this face and uh, switch to the part design workbench first so go to the part design go to the model tab select this face and uh, click on the sketch and here we will uh, project this vertical and horizontal edges so click on the project geometry and uh, we will uh, create a rectangle and uh, we will select this and this and add a vertical dimension of uh, 42.5 and uh, we will create a cut which will be up to face so click on the cut and select up to face and select this face click on ok now press 0 for isometric and we will add fillet so here fillet is given R22.5 but in practical here only 12 mm fillet is possible so we will press the control key and select these two edges and click on the fillet icon and provide the 12 mm click on ok now let's uh, move to the next feature which is to create a cut here if you see here here is a 35 mm given which means that uh, there is a no material at this side so we will rotate our model and select this back face and uh, click on the sketch go to the isometric and we will switch to the left view and here we will uh, project the geometries we will project this edge and this edge and we will uh, create a rectangle and uh, we will select this rectangle and uh, made it construction and select this horizontal dimension and uh, make it uh, 95 and uh, this is of a 35 here we can see it give the 35 and now this is the construction uh, uh, rectangle now we will create a one more rectangle which will remove the material and we will select this and this made it uh, coincidence and uh, this vertical dimension I will uh, provide approximately 40 mm so here uh, this construction circle was not important you can uh, directly draw this rectangle and give the position 35 mm from the top now we will uh, create a cut select uh, extrude cut and uh, provide the cut of uh, 9 mm so that uh, this radius get cut click on ok and uh, now press our model to the isometric view and now here is a cut here so we will again select this face and uh, click on the sketch we will uh, click on the project geometry and uh, project this uh, vertical edges and uh, we will also project this edge and uh, click on the rectangle tool and uh, create a rectangle select a horizontal dimension provide the 20 and uh, select the sketch click on extrude cut and uh, provide here 9 mm click on ok and now here we will uh, select the last feature and uh, refine the shape so refine is false set it true now press uh, 0 for isometric and now 
we will uh, provide the chamfer so here is a chamfer of a 12 mm so i will select this edge by pressing the control key and this edge and uh, provide the chamfer of a 12 mm click on ok now we will provide uh, one more chamfer here so i will select this edge and uh, click on the chamfer and provide the value 30 mm click on ok press 0 for isometric and here is the two chamfer of a 20 mm so i will select this edge and this edge by pressing the control key and click on the chamfer and provide the 20 mm and now here is a two holes so i will select this face and click on the sketch and I will uh, create two simple circle and uh, press control key and uh, make this two equal and uh, I will uh, project the edges which I require for dimensioning so I will uh, select this point and uh, this point provide a horizontal dimension of a 25 mm and uh, center to center horizontal dimension is of uh, 50 and uh, we will select it and provide the diameter of uh, 15 mm and from this point to this point provide a vertical dimension of uh, 30 mm and select this to center and uh, add a horizontal relation click on close now we will select the sketch and uh, click on extrude cut and from here we will uh, say it through all say ok now we will create this hole so we will select the face and uh, click on the sketch create a circle click on project geometry provide a horizontal and vertical dimension from this to this is of uh, 35 select a vertical dimension select this and this and uh, from the top it is from this to this is of a 30 select diameter and this is of a 26 and now I will uh, move the dimension click on close select the sketch click on extrude cut and uh, click on ok and now we will uh, create this slot so for this i will select the face and uh, click on the sketch switch to the isometric and here we will select a slot tool and uh, create a slot and here i will switch to the right view and from here i will uh, switch to the wireframe and uh, I will make this uh, horizontal and uh, click on project geometry select this and this and now we will add the dimension select this and this and add a vertical dimension of uh, 11.5 and uh, from this to this point horizontal dimension of uh, 20.5 and center to center distance is of uh, 35 and now this is the radius of uh, r6 so give it a radius of uh, 6 mm click on close press uh, v7 for shaded view select the sketch click on extrude cut and uh, say ok so this is how we have uh, model this uh, sheet metal component in a free CAD from the scratch I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial so this is all about this tutorial thank you for watching and thank you for your valuable time